Okay, um, I'm getting ready to build a cone. And the way I'm going to do it is we're going to start here at the origin and just go ahead and create us a huge circle. And we're going to zoom out. And we're going to cover up our little friend there. We're going to take that circle and bring it up like a cylinder. And we'll rotate the cylinder so we can see the top of it. And then what we're going to do is we're going to scale that top. And this can be a little bit tricky, so bear with me. Um, it's kind of slightly difficult to do. Yep, see that right there. And it's going to want to do that a couple of times. I'm going to keep bouncing back at it. Okay, now this is not not coming to a perfect point like I would like. And it's already messing up on me again. Let's try that again. All right, that's going to be good enough. Okay, so we have somewhat of a cone. <clears throat> it doesn't come to a perfect uh, exact top or a point at the top, but that's pretty close. Okay, now what I'm going to do is I'm going to get me a plane. Now this plane, when it's presented to us like this, um, it is parallel to the ground. So I'm going to bring that plane over here to my cone and I use that plane to cut the cone. Just, uh, just cut away a slice of it, if you will. Now, the plane is parallel to the base of the cone, or parallel to the ground. And when I cut it parallel to the ground, parallel to the base of the cone, let's roll this cone over and see what shape it cuts. You see a little guy down there on the ground. I want to roll this cone over, I see that uh, a circle is formed. Now, oh, that's, that's kind of interesting. And, let's see, what I'm going to do now is select my cone, or I'm sorry, select my plane, and I'm going to move it. And as I move it down, notice the circle is just getting bigger. I keep on going. In fact, you can cut my little guy's head off. But, it's kind of interesting. So it's just larger and larger circles as I move the plane up and down. Okay, now what if I rotate the plane so that it's not level with the ground anymore? I'm going to get my rotation tool and See, it'll go vertical. Just a minute. And there it goes right there. And I've got my plane selected. And I'm going to rotate the plane. Cut it at an angle. Cut that cone at a little bit of an angle. Then let's rotate the cone again so we can look at it at a different angle and look at it like so and we see that the slice that is cut off forms an ellipse. Well right there, there are two of the conic sections. We have a circle when the plane cuts the cone parallel to the base and now we have an ellipse when the plane cuts the cone non-parallel to the base. Well, I wonder what would happen if we brought the plane on down so that it kind of cuts through the cone right over here. Well, when we... Uh, oops, I grabbed the wrong hit the wrong button. I'm going to grab this and rotate it around this way. 
and we just look at the shape that was cut off the top of the cone, it forms a parabola. That's not a real good one. I'll tell you what, I'm going to roll this back around this way and I'll bring it down a little bit more. And now it'll be a little bit more obvious, I believe, that the shape that was cut out of that is a parabola. Now, the next one, that's right now that's three of the conic sections. And the next one is a little bit more interesting to deal with. Let's see if we can make this happen. And that is, oops, went the wrong way. When we stand it, if I can get it to stand straight up, it might be kind of interesting. And I'll move it over this way. I really need to get that, I need to get that plane, um, rotated so that it is perpendicular to the ground. And I think I've got it right there. Okay. And then we rotate coming around. And notice, remember that the plane is perpendicular to the ground and we've cut a slice of the cone off. And that, my friends, that shape that is formed right there is called half of a hyperbola. And generally, uh, math teachers show uh, double cones, one on top of the other at the point. The, the other cone would be going up that way and they show where both of the cones are cut and show both sides of the hyperbola but in this case here I'm just showing one cone but uh, you get the idea the other side the reflection of this would be up up in here and that's uh, the other half of the hyperbola but anyway there's where the shapes come from just cutting slices out of uh, cones and um, so they are real and they are very useful and hopefully we'll give some some decent um, examples, real life examples of where these conic sections are used.